I'm going to be doing a review of the movie Creed 3. And it is going to contain some spoilers. So if you ain't seen the movie yet, I suggest that you leave the channel. But I do invite you back because I do want to hear your thoughts. And for those who want to stick around, let's go. So the movie Creed 3 stars Michael B. Jordan. He plays Adonis Creed. And then also Michael B. Jordan has something to do with directing and producing this film. And then the co-stars was Jonathan Majors. And he plays Dane, the childhood friend of... Adonis and then you got Tessa Thompson who plays Bianca the wife of Adonis and every time I see Bianca in a movie I sense he was like this So the movie start off with a young Adonis and a young Dame and what happens is you see Adonis sneaking out the house to hang with his homeboy Dame and at the time Dame was the top amateur fighter in the city and so what happened from there is they go to a boxing match of Dame's Dame end up winning some money then Dame ends up splitting the money with Adonis. They go to a convenience store. And then young Adonis, he sees somebody that he remember from his past that, you know what I'm saying, gave him a hard time. So he started putting hands on him. Come on, oh, Come nigga. on, Grandma. I don't want to do that. Stop. Come on. The next thing you know, the dude that Adonis put hands on, his homeboys came up and grabbed Adonis. And next thing you know, you see Dane coming out here looking like he was John Moran. <laughs> he he, he, he is, is he Brandon Clark? Like, he's... Yeah, Dane was over there acting like he was Ja Wick. But then 18 years go by, and then Adonis and Dame end up running into each other again. And then Adonis look out for him and get him like a job sparring at the gym. And the reason why Adonis was looking out for Dame when he ran into him was because the situation they got Dame locked up was actually started because of Adonis. But when Dame went down to the station, he ain't bite the cheese. He wasn't in there sounding like this. I think he went up there and just got the fucking talking. But Dane wanted more. Dane wanted the title shot. You know what I'm saying? He still wanted to live out that dream that he had as a child and being the heavyweight champion. So while he was sparring, he was sparring up against the prize fighter at the gym. And he was fighting dirty, pretty much putting that person in liability to be hurt. And plus the prize fighter, and his name was Felix, he had an upcoming bout against another heavyweight fighter defending his title. So, you know what I'm saying? They wanted him in tip-top shape not to be hurt. But those things fell through the cracks, so... That opened up an opportunity for Dame to get his title shot. And Dame took full advantage of that opportunity and he beat the brakes off of Felix. You know what I'm saying? Like he really beat Felix down. But even though he was fighting dirty, he still put that work to him. But the only question I want to know is that during that scene, why did it look like Dame had popped a perk or something? Like it was like Dame was on something. You know what I'm saying? He was looking crazy in the ring. <laughs> But for those who have seen it, y'all know what I'm talking about. For those who haven't paid attention to that part. But I ain't gonna get too much of the movie away. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is a review that do have some spoilers in there. So what, what I take away from this movie is that the movie is solid. It's a real solid movie. You got some real good solid acting. Some real good fight scenes in there. Also, you get some cameo features from some actual boxers like Canelo Alvarez and Terrence Crawford. And you know, I'm still sorry that the Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence fight didn't get to happen. And you know what I'm saying? I don't want this, I don't want to find out that this movie was the reason why that fight wasn't able to happen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but we're going to hold that conversation for another day. But back to the movie. The pace of the movie was really good because it did keep the audience entertained and it did hold on to the audience attention. The downside of the movie is the predictability. You know, you was able to kind of pretty much call out what was going to happen before it actually happened. And that is the reason why I'm giving this a three and a half juice score. Just because of the predictability of the movie. Everything else was good with it. It even had a solid ending. But the predictability, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing that surprised me in this movie. Like, as you guys watch it or if you guys have seen it already, you guys understand what I'm saying. If you guys going to see it, you guys will understand what I'm saying. But that wrapped everything up. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then for those who have subscribed and those who haven't, make sure that you guys like the video. All right? And also leave comments below. I'm interested to hear what you guys got to say. Until next time, let's roll.